what's up? Today's workout is going to be a deload week of some shoulders. We're going to do overhead press and some barbell rows and some ab work as well. This week it's all about recovery, so it's just enough volume to stimulate muscle growth and strength growth that will lead us into the new week to hopefully break some PRs on the 531 workout program that I'm doing. So, got the new earbuds in, got these from Amazon. It's called Earfun and they were 50 bucks, pretty well reviewed. It's got about an eight hour play time. I do like them. They have that little charging case where they magnetically fall into place. It's kind of cool. So let's do a good workout. We've got a pre-workout NOS Blast. Took a scoop and a quarter. So it's about 175 milligrams of caffeine. Should give us a good pump, good vascularity. To have a fun day doing our deload week. The deload week is something I started doing lately, which I should have been doing probably a long time ago. I didn't realize the importance of deloading. But now I do. I look at deloading as a recovery week that is important and crucial and as long as you eat properly, that will help guide you to the next week to hopefully make strength gains. Let's get some good exercise in. So today we weighed in at about 161.4, which is like a kilo gained. That's probably just because I ate a lot of fish fillets yesterday. You ever had those frozen fish fillets from, uh, it's like some beer batter fish fillets that you throw in the oven. I made 10 of them and I ate all of them with some ketchup. It was actually really good. But I gained like a pound, actually two pounds almost, just in one day. But obviously that's not true weight gain. It's just like accumulation. So still, we weighed in at 161 today. We're feeling okay. Feeling pretty good. As far as the workouts and everything going, I think we'll have a good workout today. It's going pretty tight. Yesterday was abs and core, so it was like a, a stretching day, but also a core day. And that was really good. So, you know, I feel like everything should be pretty nice today for the deload, ex for the deload workout. Um, unfortunately, I think I'm only overhead pressing like 100 pounds at most for a lot of reps. So, 100 pounds overhead press is nice, gets the pump, but next week we'll, we'll pump it back up to like 150 or 140 or something. For now, we just gotta use this as a recovery time and make sure we do good form and do our best to stay consistent with it. That's the thing. I've been very consistent lately with my exercise for a long, long time now. So that's always a plus. I do want to get some dip bars, you know? It would be nice to have some dip bars. I've been doing kind of like a, a makeshift dip setup off the bench, but having some actual dip machine would be nice, or some sort of power stand, or I think it's called a power stand, where you do the, the dips from the side of it. That'd be really nice. I don't think I can attach a dip to this anyway. This is way too far out. I can get the ones that are standalone, but I don't know if I can put weight on them. I want to have like a 45 pound plate hanging while doing dips. That'd be really sweet to work on the triceps and some of the chest too. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, I'm just rambling. So let's make this a long video and have a good workout. Let's do it.